Hi everyone. I wanted to speak to you today a little bit about hope. And I know that we've already done some meditations on hope, um, but I've been thinking a lot about this topic and really exploring for myself what it actually is. And so I wanted to just talk about that a little and to begin our meditation that way. And then um, we'll go ahead and do kind of a guided experience around uh, some of what I'm speaking to. So we're often told that uh, hope is kind of a precious commodity in a difficult situation. Um, and we hope really for the best when someone's in trouble, when there's a difficult situation of some sort, but there's actually a deeper understanding to hope. And so this is part of what I'm exploring and sort of wanted to address is, is kind of these concepts that we've typically um, just assumed when it comes to hope. And I'd like for us to just get a little deeper with it and try to explore that perhaps um, hope really does provide something essential, something critical, um, something that I believe is, is probably an innate uh, aspect to our core actually something that we're naturally um that we're naturally given um but that we also need to cultivate in certain ways so hope can be this life supporting force that actually gives us more control over how our day unfolds so most people don't realize that that has an incredible power. I mean, there's an enormous power to that, right? That if we are living in a state of hope that essentially there is the opportunity to actually have a different life experience in general. So um, we're not just hoping for the best. Uh, we need hope really to deal with actually the uncertainty of life. And that's why um, I was saying that I do believe that hope is something that we actually innately have that is actually kind of part of our true nature. Um, but that we've all also experienced the state of feeling real hopelessness. So we know that to be real as well. And what does that mean then how how do we actually if this in fact is a natural part of us how do we access it how do we grow it and how do we move in a life that's filled with hope so um we can actually fear uncertainty um and we can try and control uh every detail of our life if we want that's an option um and that's really the nature of fear and anxiety which leads to um, insecurities low expectations limited fulfillment um, if we make a different choice we can embrace uncertainty for its creative um, potential and its ability to make life new every day that there's a an actual wisdom that exists kind of beyond the seeming chaos of life um, and if we choose this path then life becomes ever expanding with greater fulfillment and security um, we have a stronger sense of self and a steady process of awakening that's actually happening moving forward and so I want to also just pause here because it's so important for us to realize that if we choose hope if we try to cultivate hope that we are affecting potentially every day of our lives um, but that we really um, this is really a state of being that actually helps us to grow and to deepen and become more alive in that place that really is centered, that really is our kind of true self. So, um, so instead of becoming a form of like 
wish fulfillment, um, hope would become an intention that the universe actually carries out for you. Um, and so this is something that's really active, that we ignite the power of hope by um, making it a real force in our lives. And then that there's something about that, and again, sort of my own personal kind of exploration around what is hope and considering that hope is, is actually a part of our nature, then also if it's a part of our nature and our true nature and that which is um, most real about us, then also that would be a quality that the universe has and that would make sense as to why if we're holding this attitude of hope that there's actually the potential for the universe to, to manifest and to take over. It's sort of this trust, I'm sure many of you are familiar with quantum physics and kind of this trust in that we are energetic beings and we're linked to this whole system of energy. And as we align with the universal energy that's already out there, that's a force driving toward good and, and good change, um, that also this uh, universal sort of energy and force would have this nature of hope. Um, and so I'd like to um, draw us today just into a meditation that is that, that can be personal for you and that um, hopefully gets us uh, stabilized into um, a direction this week where we can focus and really um, embrace some new element of hope for us. Um, okay, so go ahead and get centered where you're sitting, get comfortable. Uh, you may want your uh, back to be supported against something. Um, as I always say, if you need a little more grounding today, perhaps you want your feet on the floor. So go ahead and just close your eyes and we'll begin with three deep breaths. Inhaling through the nose, really feeling the lungs to capacity and releasing the exhale through the mouth. And a third inhale together. And let's just do a little scan of the body, beginning at the crown of the head, and just allowing for a nice energy of relaxation to come over you, like a liquid relaxation falling over your head, over your face, into your neck, melting away any tension in your shoulders your upper back, letting the arms be filled with relaxation, letting your chest relax and perhaps you take this opportunity to take another nice deep breath, just filling your lungs with life force. And allowing this energy of relaxation to move into your belly, into your hips, into your pelvis. Allowing the liquid relaxation to run down your thighs, into your knees, into your calves, into your feet. And now just taking a little scan after this bath and relaxation and noting if there are any areas of tension in your body. And if so, just give them a little attention. Maybe breathing into that 
part of your body and again just sending it some peace and relaxation. And now just tuning into your heart. And again, just sending some love there. Allowing your whole heart area to just relax. And take a moment to reside in love. Taking a moment to step outside of any chaos, any worries. And allowing that love to inhabit your heart. And just check in again to feel centered and balanced. To feel love, to feel care for yourself. And as you begin to really feel this care and allow it to grow and to inhabit your heart and even run over into your chest, into your mind. Just get centered in that place of love where you care and you respect yourself. And as you're tuning into your heart, go ahead and just present a question. Where might I need more hope? In my life, in my mind, in my heart. And giving yourself just a minute to really be in the silence and receive something, a little insight or understanding that may come in the form of just intuition. You may hear a voice or it may just be a feeling, kind of a knowing that there's some area in your life where you could use a little more hope. We're gonna spend a little time kind of getting that hope on board in this area of your life. So we'll just spend a few more moments in silence, allowing you to get clear about this. Nothing that needs to come from your head or your mental process. If you've gone there, go ahead and just center back into your heart area, into the knowing that you're loved, And again, with curiosity, just presenting to your inner self where it is that you might be able to use a little more hope in your life. Or perhaps it's just this day. I'll give you a few moments of silence around this.
Now that you have that area in your life, or this day, or this moment, where you're aware that you could use a little more hope, go ahead and place that area of your life right in front of yourself, kind of like a little snow globe with the scene in it. Just kind of floating out in front of your face or your heart. This area where you could use more hope. And now as you inhale, inhale love. This is the love that comes from within you and also from outside of you. The love of the universe, the love of the creator, the love of the force that holds our universe together. Really just go ahead and inhale that. That love that is deep, that is given, not earned. Because you are you. And because you have uniqueness. Just inhale this love that is for you designed specifically for you, for your needs. Really inhale it. Perhaps you inhale really deep, really letting this love fill you. when you feel like you've really embraced this and inhabited this love, go ahead and give it. Breathe it out on your exhale onto this scene where you need more hope. So this river of love in your breath, streaming in and out, where you're truly receiving and you're also giving to this area where you need a little more hope in your life. And perhaps this scene may change a bit. And just notice it. Notice how this scene is responding to the love that you're inhaling and exhaling upon it. Perhaps it gets a little brighter. Perhaps you just sense some space some malleability or just an energy of relaxation around this area where you need more hope but really give it really give it this love and allow the hope to grow and emerge in its own way that's natural upon this scene in your life. Allow it to grow.
and allow yourself to see the changes in this scene as the love grows and the hope grows. And perhaps now, as you're feeling a little differently toward this area in your life where you need more hope, if you feel moved and it feels right, perhaps you go ahead and just um, ask a question or provide an energy to really solidify what you've experienced. So the question may be, how can I feed this hope? Is there something I need to do? Is there some time that I need to take out of my day to really feed this important quality? To really infuse this area of your life with more hope, with more love, to really give yourself this gift. Or perhaps you're feeling or experiencing something that you could just ask to really hold on to it in this week, to really find this hope accessible when you go there, really taking it in, and actually establishing some sort of change in the hope that you have now around this area in your life. So I'll give you some more moments of silence to just solidify this, to ask or to pray. For this hope to really take root and be alive in this area of your life. And perhaps you want to just close by taking some nice deep breaths. Tuning back in to where you are. And as you feel ready, you can just tune back in to the room. Open your eyes gently. So glad to be with you all today. And um, Aurelia, thank you so much for joining. It's always so nice to see your name come up. And Magdi, I'm so glad that you're here as well. So if you are live now or you're watching the replay to this, please go ahead and send a little thumbs up or a heart if you liked it. And always uh, your experiences are welcome to be shared. Um, this is a private group, so um, really only the members of our group get to see this. And I hope that this establishes some hope around this area for you that you're perhaps struggling with a little bit and that it shifts something in this week or today and 
I wish you all a week that's filled with hope and love and peace and keep that alive as we are still in this kind of crazy time where so many of us are still isolating and find those ways that you can feel connected and tune into the love and tune into the hope. And I look forward to being with you all next week. Blessings.